Hi all, welcome to the video lecture series of Object Oriented Programming. In this video lecture, we will be discussing about Collections Framework. Collections in Java is actually a framework and it provides an architecture to store as well as to manipulate group of objects. And it can achieve by using Java collections, we can achieve all kinds of operations like searching, sorting, storing, insertion, manipulation, etc. that we use to perform on data structures. Java collection means a single unit of objects. That means we are collecting different objects into a single unit. That is what we mean by collections framework. It includes many interfaces and classes. So it is a group of interfaces and classes. Some of the interfaces in collections framework are set, list, queue, DQ, and some of the classes in collections framework are array list, vector, linked list, priority queue, etc. As you can see the name names of the interfaces as well as the classes, all these terms are related to data structures. So collections framework allows us or gives us an opportunity to work with data structures in Java. So what's a collection in Java? Collections means it represents a single unit of objects, that is a group. We know the word meaning of collections. We often say that we have a good collection of books, good collection of cars. What does that mean? We have a group of books or group of cars. Similarly, collections in Java means it's a group of objects. We define that collections is actually a framework. So what is a framework? Framework means it provides ready-made architecture and it represents set of classes and interfaces. So if you want to call something as a framework, it must contain a set of classes and interfaces. And moreover, in Java, it's, it is optional. That means it is not compulsory that every program in Java must have or must make use of this framework. So when we group these two terms together, collections and framework, when we put these two words together, we will get the collections framework. So what is a collections framework? A collections framework is actually an architecture, a unified architecture that allows us to or that provides us with several classes and interfaces that can be used for performing different operations. So in general, collections framework has interfaces and the implementation of those interfaces. We know that interfaces are, me are collection of abstract methods. So we need to implement those methods. For that, we need to use classes. So collection framework means it has got interfaces and the classes that implements those interfaces. And it is the java.util package that contains all the classes and interfaces for the collection framework. So whenever we have to use collection framework in our program, we have to import java.util package and the corresponding collection framework. This picture shows the entire collection framework or we can say this is all about collections framework. As you can see, the, the blue color indicates they are interfaces and green color belongs to classes. So as mentioned earlier, collections framework is actually a group of or a set of interfaces and the classes that implements those interfaces. As we can see, we have iterable interface at the top and we have collection interface. See the word here is collections. So here it is a plural form, here it is a singular form. So collection is actually one of the interface inside the collections framework. Don't just get confused. Collection is the interface name. Collections is the framework name. And we have other interfaces like list, queue and set. All these three interfaces are inheriting collection interface that means these three are actually the sub interfaces of collection interface and we have classes like array list linked list vector etc and priority queue array dq etc you might you have you might have heard about all these things inside the data structure class linked list priority queue etc so if you want to implement those programs in java 
we can make use of this collections framework. Now some details regarding the collection interface. In the previous figure we noticed that IEEE is the topmost interface in the collections framework. After that comes the collection interface. And all the other interfaces and classes are extending or are inheriting this interface named collection. So collection interface is an important interface in collections framework and we will see some more details regarding collection interface now. Collection interface as I mentioned just now is the interface which is implemented by all the classes in the collection framework. So all classes in the collection framework will implement this collection interface. So whatever may be the class inside that if that belong if that class belongs to collections framework it will implement the collection interface. It declares a methods that every collection will have. So all the interfaces and classes that belongs to collections framework are said to be a collection. So all the collections will have all collection class or collection interface will have the methods declared inside the uh, collection interface or in other ways we can say that all the methods within this interface must be implemented by all the collection it is the foundation on which the collection framework is built or on which it depends the entire collection framework depends on the methods builds or methods included in the collection interface it has got some of the methods like add, add all, clear, etc. that we will study in detail when we talk about any particular interface or a class. We need to discuss about array list as well as list interface. In those class and interface, list is actually an interface and array list is actually a class. In both of those topics, we have to discuss these methods. So we will in see in detail about these methods in those video lectures. But these methods are included are available in collection interface and since collection interface has to be implemented by all the other classes all these methods will be there in all other cl collections also that is what we mean by here all these methods which are inside the collection interface namely boolean add boolean add all bo uh, void clear etc they are implemented by all the subclasses of collection interface we shall conclude now. We defined collections in Java. We also defined what is collections framework. We saw a figure showing the different or listing out the different interfaces and classes in the collection interface of Java. We also defined or we also mentioned something about the collection interface that belongs to collections framework. I hope it is clear to you all. That is all in this video lecture. Thank you so much.